Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly, and Mr. Toes in the Sand over there himself <laughs> has uh, joined us this morning. Apparently, uh-huh. uh, Tuesdays are acceptable to be in Muskegon, but on Monday afternoons, uh, you, you get to go to Grand Haven um, mm-hmm. because, um, because why, Dave? Uh, because it was a spur of the moment. I mm-hmm. wasn't going to go. I was on Alpine, I'm like, I'm just going to go home. And I realized, you know, it's, it's going to be really nice today. Really nice. So I went, boom, I jumped on 96. And it's just, Grand Haven is just more of a convenient drive for me. Mm-hmm. It just is. I'm going to hit Ski Town more than a few times this summer. Um, uh, for beach and for other things. Slow down, sir. Later on. Um, it's getting deep but, quick. Um, what? I, this, how long have you worked in Muskegon? Oh geez, going on the better part of twenty five years. Yeah, if, it's 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 twelve, not twenty, but it's it's twenty two ish probably. That's what I'm saying, right? And mm-hmm. here you are making the conscious decision mm-hmm. to go to Grand Haven instead yeah. of where your bread's buttered. What I I talked about Muskegon. I talk mm-hmm. about Muskegon. I occasionally go to Muskegon. Hey, I I'm don't travel saying, much as it is. I'm just saying. This was a spur of the moment. Dude, thing. all I'm saying is that, you know, the Visitors and Tourism Bureau has made a few calls. I was busy answering <laughs> questions yesterday. Um, for somebody that's well, supposedly as ingrained in the community as you I are, am, you would and, think that your first thought I, would be, let's, let's, let's go to Muskegon. But apparently, apparently, mm-hmm. you're too good for that. So not okay. Where? Why does that become a too good or it doesn't just become anything? Too, or too lazy to go? Why do you assume, it's, why do you assume it's become anything? A longer stretch. I didn't. You know, I, I want. I'm like. I just want. Want to go. I want to get there. I want to be What's there. What's longer now. about going to Muskegon? It's Nothing. just. A, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a quicker trip for me to Grand Haven than it is to Muskegon. No, not really. I will go to Muskegon. But it this and it's the, I, I had a spot ooh, 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 ooh. that I hit last year yeah. that was perfect for me. It was close to the ride. Like I get in there, and this is what I liked about yesterday. I was the first person on the beach in Grand Haven at like 10 a.m. Yeah. And it was in the 70s, and it was you're on the sand and you're curing the waves, and then I'm, it's the same thing is going to happen in Muskegon too. Um, but it was. It was so incredible. I was so relaxed. It was so great. And then after two and a half, close to three hours, I get up and people are starting to come, starting to get, and I'm already out. So I get to kind of relax, do my own thing. Got in the water a couple of times, 55 degrees. That's a little chilly, but it was awesome. Watched a you know, lady play with her dog, even though dogs aren't allowed on the beach, which still to me, this is, we got to do something about this because there isn't a creature on planet Earth that has more fun at a beach than a dog. And the idea that you wouldn't let a dog go on a beach is bullshit. So let's, uh, let's, let's stop with that. Mm-hmm. Fewer rules. That's the other thing mm-hmm. I was thinking about as I was laying there relaxed and just enjoying myself, it was it was awesome. And I I will uh, I will I will be uh, have no have no fear. I will be enjoying uh, the uh, wonderful uh, Lake Michigan in uh, the Muskegon area too. So this was just spur of the moment. Hit Grand Haven. It was great. Why is there some bitter? Is there some unspoken rivalry between Grand Haven and Muskegon? that I don't know about where it's, I don't, what's, what's the, what's the issue? I'm just listening to your tale. I, I, yeah, just, well, this is amazing. Go ahead. Keep going. Is there? No, I got nothing. It was a great, it was a great midday. Yeah. Kind of respite for me. Oh, okay. All right. Don't forget where you were. I, I know I, where I, I am. I'm just saying. I mean, I I feel like you want me to apologize for something. I have nope, nothing to apologize for. Nope, no need for. to do that. No need. I to... can only go to one town. 
I am only allowed if I am going to a lake. I cannot go to any other lake but a lake in Mesquite. That's just silly. Nothing more to say, sir. Hang on. <laughs> Nothing more to say. Just, just the contents check. Okay. I got nothing to add for that. Other than I had a great day. You, you needn't. Let's mm-hmm. just remember that the next time you're in Muskegon and all the free booze is flowing and everybody's yeah. pouring accolades yeah. on Dave and oh Dave, it's good to see you. Let's get you a drink. Oh Dave, can we buy your dinner? Oh Dave, oh, yeah, can we do this? Yeah. They ain't doing that well, in Grand Haven. No, no, but no, nobody comes. Nobody. It was gr- see, so I was nobody completely left alone. Yep. Sometimes, see, that's the other thing too. Is sometimes. You, you, you're feeling social and you want to, you know, you want to, you know, go, you, you want to be the norm mm-hmm. and be where everybody knows your name, whatever. Uh, this wasn't one of those times. I just wanted to relax and just yeah. nap, jump in the lake a couple of times, yeah. refresh. Okay. That was it. Your story, pal. Uh, Tell it how you want. Uh, what? <laughs> Everybody remember that when Dave comes to town looking for free booze again. Okay, first of all, I don't look for free booze. It's just often offered to me, and mm-hmm. I never turn it down because okay. that would be rude. Free booze. Dave's coming. Yeah. Free food. So, Dave's yeah. coming. So the next time I'm in Muskegon, um, and I, I stop by a local watering hole, which yep. will happen, mm-hmm. uh, feel free. I will not turn down your your offer of a beverage. Of course not. Uh, I'm not. You don't have to. It's not. You know. It's not something I'm going to assume. I mean, would it be nice? Of course. I don't nice see that say, kind hey, of Dave, Can I buy a white Haven? Russian or or a Jameson on the rocks? Yeah. Or 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 a Tito's and water. All I'm saying Any is one of those three. All I'm saying is, hey, you know where you work, and I would suggest yeah. maybe maybe thinking of that next time. I absolutely will, but can I not think of it? Is it, am I am I in a uh, one city relationship? Is that what we're doing I, here? I'm not saying anything. I don't. As you do, I'm not see, here this to is judge. Why, this is why I don't get involved in relationships see? because you know, I date. Right. I date, and I'm the same way with towns and cities. Yep. I don't really, res- you know. I okay. I, I don't want to story. Just no problem, Dave. Don't blade. mind us. Don't mind. We're fine. I know you're fine. Okay, you gonna do news for us, or what are we gonna do? Yeah, I, I could do. I could do. Nothing the news to worry or about. Do, or do you want to? Do you want to pretend to be butt hurt over this? I'm That's not butt hurt. I'm good. <laughs> I'm. I've been waiting for the news here today. I'm okay. I I need to be informed. All right. Uh, Look out for higher electric bills this summer all across the U.S. The average U.S. electric bill from June to September is expected to be close to $720. That's a 30% increase from 2020 when the average cost was uh, right around $550. So just just some little advice from me to you. If you're you're like me and you're a little little tight in the cash department, uh, just wait until it's really, really, really hot. Yeah. Say again? Electric bills are a lot. Yeah. Mine's you're gonna 400 wa- something. It yeah. sucks. You're, yeah. you're going to want to turn and don't crank the AC until you really need to crank the AC. Keep those windows open. Keep the fresh air. That's right. Moving through. And Especially if, if you hot, live in one of the wonderful lakeshore communities like Muskegon. If it like gets too Muskegon, hot, run to Grand, Grand Haven. Haven. Make sure you go there or- first. That's what you want to do. Beat the electric uh, bill. Go to Grand Haven. Perfect. What's the next story? I'm interested. Jeez. Electric vehicle sales. Hey, speaking of electricity, electric vehicle sales continue to struggle. Just 9% of Americans own or lease an EV. 40% claim that they would somewhat consider it uh, with their next car purchase. If I could afford it, yeah. I wouldn't. I'm not anti it at all. Yeah. You know, down the road is going to save you money probably but the average price of a new ev is over fifty five thousand dollars another issue is the weight of the vehicles which are like 50 percent heavier than the average car uh and then that causes you know wear and tear on the mm-hmm. roads and bridges so you're gonna have to repair it. it's it's one of those trade-off things 
it's like, okay, you're going to have a little cleaner air, but you're going to have to deal with these two other issues. It's just, you know, which, which one do you want to kind of deal with? And that's up to you. Finally, get your food on in Ski Town this weekend. It's the Taste of Muskegon returning to Hackley Park this Friday and Saturday, June 7th and 8th. You got food, you got drinks, you got entertainment. It's a great fun for the whole family. Don't miss out. Don't I assume miss you out. Will be, you'll be partaking uh, at some point this weekend. I don't or no? know. I don't know what this weekend entails. Um, I have to look. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. I just don't. You don't know. know. I don't know. Everything's up I in the air. I can tell you this: I won't be in Grand Haven. Well, it doesn't matter if you're not going to be in Muskegon either. Well, I, I, if I'm in Muskegon, I'll be somewhere in Muskegon County. Oh, okay. So you, you, you never venture out of Muskegon County. I never ever. said that. Okay. Never once did I say that. Don't don't assume things, uh. sir. Can I, can I be honest? Of all the weak ass guilt trips you've tried to lay on me over guilt the trip. years, and then they they occasionally guilt trip. You, you, okay, yeah, on occasion you will try and stick a little. Oh, hey, maybe you should have done this. No guilt trip involved here at all. How do you sir? feel about whatever you, you feel about whatever you? you perceive is the reality? No, no guilt trip. This is this is no this guilt is a, trip whatsoever. This is the waste of the week. This is not. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, dude, I, I, I gave up guilt a long time ago. Me too. So Me too. I feel work, no guilt whatsoever. But it's just I enjoy, I enjoy the the attempts, however feeble they may be. It was no attempt. Like, There's nothing to be guilty about nothing. here, sir. I know. I never mind I know. the little people. Dude, I am the little people. Okay. Let's see. Let's, what do we got here? That's what do we got here. Want to see mine? I, hey, I got a dollar. Look at me. I got, nothing, I got Foley money today. I got nothing. So there. Oh, and about eight Tic Tacs. I got a, I got a $2 scratcher that I haven't cashed in mm -hmm. yet. That, there's my money right there. Oh, look at you. See? That's how, again, hey, I'm not saying anything. Lives. I'm not saying anything. Didn't say a word. Yeah. No. No. Any guilt is assumed on your part. Uh, that would not be a safe assumption. Okay. Anywho, sports, sports. Trader. Tigers double up Texas two to one. 30 and 30, 102 games left. See that? That's your there Tigers. You we'll see. We shall see. Uh, Cubs were off. That's sports. All right. Sounding like tennis is the category again today. Yesterday, you picked up a win by the skin of your teeth. Uh, Ken Jennings uh, did call and validate your win. Um, of so, dude, fault line. I expanded. I gave you just a fault. better definition. I gave tennis, you a more there's no fault line. expansive, complete no. definition. See, that's a fault line. Yeah. That's that's your that's your Grand Haven attitude. Stop it. All right. <laughs> the operating expenses of running a business. Operating expenses. How much is this worth? It's worth six hundred, sir. Overhead. Overhead. Correct a mundo. Fifty-eight nine hundred in the hole. Look at you. Fifty-eight nine hundred in the hole. Amazing. Well, I don't know what you're gonna spend today doing, but I hope it's something incredibly wonderful. Uh may I suggest someplace nice like Hart, uh just close to Muskegon again. Um, you could maybe travel to what else is close to Muskegon? Pierre Marquette? Nope. No, don't go, don't go there. Oh my God, don't, don't go. That's in Muskegon. You don't want to go there. Yeah, why would I um, go there? Mm. I've been there. Oh, I know where you could go. You could go to Holland. Oh, that's nice. That's where I'd go if I were. <laughs> yeah, go to Holland. Maybe who knows? I've got well, I've got a, I've got a, I got to make some countertops for oh, a couple hours, oh, and oh. we'll see how we'll see how the weather is, and then you know. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Maybe. I may, uh, or I may just call it a day and take a nap. All right, do that. Watch Here comes TV. the lovely weather girl, Tegan Schultz. See ya!
Happy Tuesday, Muskegon. It'll be another hot and humid day here with a chance for some more thunderstorms tonight. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Today especially and tomorrow are both looking pretty hot and humid, but as those rainy systems move out of our area, we will experience some cooling around Thursday and that will continue through the rest of the week into the weekend to some more seasonable temperatures. We will have drier weather also this weekend. Though there is a small chance to see some scattered rain showers earlier in the day on Tuesday, the main event will be Tuesday night around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock p.m. when a line of thunderstorms will move through West Michigan and these thunderstorms are expected to continue overnight into Wednesday morning. Otherwise, your Tuesday will be partly sunny with a high around 84 degrees with just that 30% chance of seeing some showers and a very small chance of seeing some thunderstorms in the afternoon with some wind out of the south around 5 to 15 miles per hour and at night will cool down to about 63 degrees with a 60% chance of seeing some rain and those thunderstorms pass through overnight with winds at the southwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour and we also can expect wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour overnight with that storm. And these high temperatures are consistent across the county, the majority of the towns being in the mid 80s which is definitely warmer than average for this time of year. Even along the lakeshore at our beaches, we are in the mid to higher 60s, which is also very warm. And we are also having some higher dew points today as well with that storm moving through, bringing us a lot of moisture from the south with the dew points in the higher 60s, which is gonna give us a more uncomfortable range of humidity, but we can expect it to cool back down through the rest of the week. For Wednesday, we have an 80% chance of some more thunderstorms and rain showers during the day with a high much lower than it will be today, around 74, and we do see that cooling trend as we move through the rest of the week, staying in the lower 70s rather than the upper 70s into the 80s as we have been. Thursday will start us off at 71 degrees, but we'll have a lot of sunshine and that will continue for the next couple of days, Friday 70, Saturday 71, a little bit cloudier, but Sunday 72 and Monday 70 and not a drop of rain in the rest of the forecast as of right now. And as we know, that could change, but as of right now, it's looking like we'll have a pretty beautiful weekend. That's all for your Tuesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health for the Muskegon channel. I'm Tegan Schultz and I hope you have a great day.